You can watch Make or Break now, streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. The show follows the best surfers in the world on the World Surf League Championship Tour. It's a seven-part series, and you just saw a little teaser from episode two. Uh, really cool to look at all the different episodes, diving into the personalities of the best surfers on the planet. Gabriel Medina in the water now to take on Callum Robs. This is what Medina did on his start. Well, this was somebody uh, that has got this crowd lighting up in that turn right there. The big layback snap as he looks in at the beach. And he is vibing off that crowd. Callum got this wave. A couple right-handers. And you see Callum's going to go to that strong forehand. And look at what he's able to do. Very powerful. Up into the lip. So nice start for Callum. Going to get himself a good number. He's got to start strong against Gabriel Medina, being that he's surfing not only against that surfer in the water, but every single person on the beach. <laughs> 100%. Great job just getting a start. Nice hollow right that was actually spitting behind him when he went for this big hook. And right in that critical section, that's what he's been doing all year long, not shying away from those big beefy sections, and he's pulling it off very confident in all of his... Uh, events that he's had this season yeah he had those heartbreaking losses but he's also had those uh elation wins because uh, all the way to a final in his rookie year so fun to watch you know these uh underdogs coming around and and you know showcasing i mean even his arrival onto the tour was kind of under the radar i mean he's a rookie first time feeling this kind of energy pointed straight to his shoulder proud to be a brazilian competing on his home turf in the crowd responded accordingly growth we'll call it growth right <laughs> i'm going to keep referring to that like these moments you know and, and his season has been very difficult callum stepping on this way pete coming around the corner he'll still get a taste of the pit there a messy little tube section but still got the vision for a brief moment kind of feels like looking at callum's last two waves so when do you pull in? When do you don't? That's the question. It's really where you're going to score. You get these little sloppy ones like this, they're not going to be much uh, on the score line. Yeah, he'll maybe get enough to, to overtake the lead, but this one's not going to stay in his top two at the end of this heat. Andre Agassi was well aware of that throughout his tennis career where he had the crowd play into his hands as we have a big bottom turn attacking the nice. big section is Callum Robson throwing down a top turn in the float on the transition. And now he'll fade. His last wave gave him a nice solid run through this little river to give him an end section. He'll hang in there. Little front side slash just to get a final move in, but very different approach from Medina. Goofy versus regular, and Callum's got a different, very unique style. Low and compact, and this is a vicious first turn. Look at the rail work just in the lip, the very vertical section to be able to do that type of carve in that section. Very well done. The second turn, a little bit more of a floater move. I would have loved to see a little bit more of a lease out of there to really make it into that excellent range. I think it's still going to be a great score. He's going to get the lead from Gabriel Medina. You look at what Gabriel Medina was able to do on his 7-5. Snap to big layback carve. This one now, the layback carve first, then with the extra floater. Oh, he's got to feel amazing just to be able to feel 100% physically now as he's scrapping into this one. The surfer from Evans Head, Australia, just left chasing. 22 minutes to go. I like that he's staying busy. Looks like he's found something here. Heading left towards Bahinha. Front side wrap incomplete. We'll see if this decision to move is going to work for him, Pete. So or, or smaller waves. So but obviously he sees something down the line here. Let's see if it's going to work out. He's got so much speed. There's a big reverse attempt and a hard fall for Medina. Wow, you almost got all the way around the rotation there. Landed in almost like two different places. There's a the flats landing, which at least you know it's flat, and you're going to land there hard. Whereas if you had landed on the top of the wave, look at this one. Callum just sticking to his guns on the right. Big wrapping turn on the wall. Just a setup move for Robson. Throw tail reverse and transition. Robson rides away. Well, look at that. The crowd gave him a reaction, which is kind of cool. And still hunting something down with all the ribs on the face. He'll just float out into the channel. Solid game plan. He's loving the right-hand bowl. Oh, look how clean it is on the face. It's surprising to me that Gabriel's not over here on this part of the bank. Um, he obviously would have identified something down the way, but this wave's super clean. 
And especially when he goes and does, again, spontaneity right there. I didn't expect him to do that. And all of a sudden, he showcases it, pulls it off, and he's going to get a number here. He's going to improve on that 6.0, most likely. And El Salvador, he was going for a lot of those types of punts. He didn't land any. And now, here in Brazil, everything's clicking for Callum. Wow, look at that. Again, the technique through the car. He drives that back arm through the maneuver. Again, right here, he sees down the line, so he's eyeing those next sections. And then punts. Does the nose pick slide around? No worries. Gabriel Medina on the hunt. Wanted to find a left. He's up again. Aggressive vertical snap. End section. He's got to land the combo. Another fall for Medina. Just comparing the wall, the wave that Medina has where he's sitting compared to what Callum's utilizing right out front, Pete, what's the difference? Um, he's moved. I'm just trying to open my shoulder. He's still back in that same zone. This is a part of the beach that pretty much no one else has surfed throughout this event. Beautiful snap there to start this one out. And again, trying to get the crowd involved with uh, some aerial antics and generally he is ultra consistent pulling these off. And uh, right now, having a little trouble keeping that board under his feet. Keeping things interesting for Gabriel Medina. Gabriel is moving way down the beach. We're talking hundreds of yards at the moment. As you can see, Callum gliding in from the sky, pulling into the pit, still oh traveling, and it's wide open. Callum comes out into daylight, right into a wrapping cutback. The fans are wondering shock. what's happening to Medina as Callum's just shutting this wave down on the inside. Oh, another improvement. It feels like, I mean, it's hard to tell with the drone angle. We'll get the, the front angle here very moment. In a, very <laughs> in a moment. There we go. Trying to add extra words. And so this, this is what Callum just did. Front angle, arm drag, stalling. Okay, well, he wasn't as barreled. Didn't completely disappear from view. So maybe not going to be a, a big improvement. We'll see what this inside maneuver does but it felt like a, an opportunity a bit lost because that wave stayed open all the way through not everyone does that nice solid finish though what a great read for callum robson so you feel like he could have got deeper here yeah well i mean if you're gonna like start dissecting and analyze yes i do believe that it could have been uh, better for him to be completely disappearing from view whereas we saw the nose of his surfboard and his body beautiful wave i mean how good was that wave it was open all the way across the bank and you can hear the crowd pumping up Gabriel Medina. Well, it's interesting, Pete, as we watch the rest of Callum's wave. The beach is trying to tell Medina to move back over. <laughs> They're waving their arms to send him back to where Callum's sitting. They're like, dude, it's really good over here. Come on back. Callum Robson, I mean, what a gift. It's almost impossible to battle with Medina, especially when the crowd's behind you. But what a gift for Callum to be able to surf the venue basically by himself. And then this was the left uh, down the beach, deep behind this one, Pete, and it's going to shut down. Wow. The winds feel, feel like they're kind of now turching to a little bit of a... And Medina finding another left down here, Pete. He'll wind up the punt. There's the rotation and another fall. Medina's so talented at landing big airs. Peak setting up for Medina's forehand attack. This might have been the moment he's waiting for to come back for a snap solid. He's got the speed for the ramp, projects into the end section and falls again. Another misfire on a combination. How many errors does, you know, in five tries? He would say four out of five at least. Most likely five out of five. And he's getting the rotation down and he's landing. And then all of a sudden, it almost feels like he's throwing it away. Again, that first snap, and he's so good at getting that fin chuck to keep the speed up and then set it up. It's almost like, you know, you watch people set up for errors, but he just keeps the speed through the snap. And just the board tail drop behind him. Wasn't able to stay. Although he's going to try and do it right now. Medina has got a lot of speed. There's the ramp. Full rotation down again. Wow. I am in shock. And looks like utilizing priority, holding Medina off this left is Callum. He'll try to turn it into a keeper. Big fan off the tail, that Sparrow surfboard. Jams it again, but he can't hang on. There might be something weird with that end section on the left. And this was a, a very difficult draw, obvious reasons. But Callum now being right out that outside the uh, final five. 
huge win right here to get his odds to see himself at lowers. What a great recovery from two tough results from G-Land El Salvador. The Aussie moves on into the round of 16.